If you have been eagerly awaiting the return of the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, you are in luck. Season three, finally here in the Emmy-winning series that's now heading into the 1960s. Rachel Brosnahan stars as the edgy stand-up comedian Midge Maisel. Tony Shalhoub plays her opinionated and often complicated father. And in the new season, Midge is taking her act on the road while her family is left to deal with their issues on their own. Take a look. Have you worn all these dresses? Have I? Because I don't think you've been on Earth long enough, even at a rate of two per day. Okay, what is happening? What do you mean, what is happening? Have you not been paying attention? She never pays attention. Our whole lives are going down the toilet. Where the hell have you been? She's been out doing whatever it is she does at night. Oh, and I suppose that's my fault, too. You know what I'm doing at night. If you hadn't met me, then I wouldn't be Miriam's mother. She wouldn't be turning to prostitution instead of being married. I am not a prostitute. I'm a comic. Is there a difference? Yes. Prostitutes get paid more. Hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious, Rachel and Tony. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, season three is here. How did it feel to get the band back together? Because everyone was wild about season two. So how did it feel when you all got back together to start season three? It was so fun. Yeah? It's a terrific group. You know, we, we just, we almost have too much fun. It's a, it's a really <laughs> tight, cohesive group. <laughs> the, the, uh, well, the, the, you know, the, the material is, is just challenging. The, the, they write in such a kind of quick pattern. Yes, you can feel way. it. But so we're all kind of you know, holding on for dear life and clinging to each well, other. Well, that clip very well shows what happens to your character, Rachel. Yeah. You're, you hit the road yep. and you kind of leave your family behind. And so pick up where what kind of dynamic is created with this character now. So uh, at the end of season two, yeah. Shy Baldwin yeah. asks Midge to open for him on tour. Uh -huh. And they're, they're kicking it off. Uh -huh. And uh, the parents, everyone knows now that Midge is a comic. That's mm -hmm. caused kind of a ripple effect yes. through the family. It's a little tense between us when yeah. we start season three. Well, I also saw just even in that clip, you're, it's, there's kind of like a shaming of you leaving the family behind. Yes. And I just found it so fascinating and interesting that that not only happened in the show, but yeah. there's some real life mom shaming that goes on oh, when it yeah. comes to your character. Tell me about that. It's been so surprising. I mean, I'm, I'm not a mom, so it's not yeah. something I've ever experienced personally, but I've found myself being offended on behalf of a fictional character. Yeah. <laughs> the, it, it, the response, I mean, the, the number of times that I've been asked whether or not I think Midge is a terrible mom, I got asked in an interview whether or not I thought she loved her children. What? Just because you're working? Well, and Alex yeah. really astutely said, Alex was sitting in the interview with me, and she said, well, I'm away from my kids right now. Are you questioning yeah. whether I love mine? Wow. You know, I mean, it was, it's a, uh, I'm, I'm getting a little taste of the kind of mom shaming that goes on in the real world. Interesting. Be kind you, to each other. It's hard. Your character's going through some tough times. The career is going south and that does not make you happy. Right. Well, at the end of season two, we see that yeah. Abe has, you know, yeah. is kind of like, he's, he's left his job at Columbia. Yeah. He's left his job at Bell Labs. He, he's wants to kind of, he's having a bit of a midlife crisis yeah. and kind of, in which I think was triggered by the fact that you know, her marriage dissolved yeah. and then she went on this other path. And, um, and and it's had this ripple effect to all the characters in the piece. So Abe is, Abe is kind of starting anew. Yeah. Rachel, I was reading something about you that just cracked me up. It said, I was looking at it, said in high school, <laughs> it was like, Rachel was on the wrestling team. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I, it, was it like a, my weird claim to fame? It's like <laughs> a weird thing. Was it, was it a boys and girls wrestling team? No. Was why, what? Well, it, I mean... Was Technically, it? all wrestling is co-ed. It's separated yeah, oh, by it? weight class. Oh, um, okay. But I, I didn't make the musical my freshman year of high school, and a bunch of my buddies joined the wrestling team, and it sounded like fun. So I always wanted to do it. What was your favorite move? Do you remember, <laughs> do you remember the pin? I was a fan of the single leg takedown. <laughs> the single leg takedown? Single leg takedown. Were that you, was my signature Were you move. tough? Were you tough in that? I, I mean, <laughs> yes. Mark? I don't know. I didn't look so tough in that singlet with my with my hairnet, but I felt tough. <laughs> I think that's super cool. Let me just ask you one last quick question. Um, I interviewed uh, Tom Hanks uh, when he was doing the the Mr. Rogers movie, and there was he's an scene, actor, right? There, there's a scene where Mr. Rogers gets a big award, and in for real, and he says in that award, um, "I want you all to take ten seconds to think about the person who loved you into being," and he said, "And I'll wait." So we waited for ten beats. For everyone to think. So I just was curious, who loved you into being? Oh, my mom and dad for sure, and they're actually here watching this interview right now. Your parents are here. They are. Where are? Oh, and Tony, real <laughs> quick, who, who oh, loved you into being? Uh, my wife and my daughters. Well, we love sure. you. We love you all. And the the premiere is coming up after this. We'll be back after your local news.